This is the part one of the MicroSCADA series. In this, we will set up uh, the Ubuntu server and then uh, install MicroCAD. And we will also connect to the MicroCADAs from our well, CubeCPO. And I can also recommend Lens and a few other. So let's see how to do that. Uh, the first step is uh, log into your um, cloud or uh, DigitalOcean or whatever the cloud provider you're using. If you don't have the cloud provider, I have a referral link uh, for the Hetzner. Uh, it's free. Uh, try it out. You will get 20 euros for free. Just try it out and then you can um, follow along. So the first step is to create the projects. It's nothing fancy just go and click new projects and then you can create it and then add the ssh keys i have done both um so if you come and check i don't have anything uh except the ssh keys and i also have um ip address um which is connected to the dns so that it's easy to um set up uh for myself i will explain how to set up the ip uh, address as well so first create the project the first step is creating the firewall so we have to open the port 22 because that is the SSH port and then we need port 80 because that's the HTTP port and then another port is 443 and then the third is 16433 so so this is the Kubernetes port um you can come and then see I have done this here uh you will um see how to add ports and um things like that don't forget to add all the four ports because all we need all the four ports and then uh we can leave the um all bond empty and then give the name whatever you want so we have four rules in the firewall ready so the next step is to go and create the server uh create the server uh i select location nuremberg because i have the ip there you can select whichever location you want and then i am going for the ubuntu and i'm going to buy this for cpu uh, 8 gig version um, i will select the firewalls assign the existing ip this is the ip which i have configured and then give the name as kdev one uh, and then we can click create and buy and it will just um, create your machine just uh wait for it to finish it will finish within a minute or so so the next step is uh, you have to assign your domain to your ip so the first thing is to create the a record and then also create a cname record for star so that all your uh, requests to all your subdomain is redirected to your main domain and which goes back to your ip i have already done that that's why i had the um, a primary ip reserved so it's easier for me to um, record the video so you can come back and then verify it uh, by saying kdev yeah so it, as soon as you type kdev onenderspartcom it goes to the ip which is 7846198.77 which is the ip for the machine okay the next step is updating your uh, ssh config so i have this file called dot uh, ssh config in the root and in that root i have mentioned the host as kdev and then uh, I have added my identity file as my SSH file. Um, if you don't know how to deal with SSH, uh, you get a, you don't uh, add SSH here. You will receive a email, user ID and password in your email. Just not so secure. But uh, if you are playing around, yeah, it's not a problem. Um, yeah, so you can uh, at this point your server is ready. You can uh, directly SSH into your server. Um, to do that okay i forgot to add the comment uh because it's pretty easy ssh root you click it will ask you to add a fingerprint and then you the password if you have the password most people usually don't have the password um yeah that's it you are inside your server it displays some um basic statistics uh here about the server this is the system load uh and the memory usage and uh you can find mm, all the basic information when you log in so the next step is to upgrade and update so you can follow all the instructions here and i also created a setup script because um, yeah it's easier to just uh, copy and paste but uh, i will uh, do it one by one to explain so the first step is we are updating the um, machine 
it's just sudo apt update so even though we just created the machine it's better to it's, it's a good practice to just update all the mirror um package manager and also upgrade in case if there is any updates available for the packages which are already installed which we are so just give s uh the internet is very very fast and then the machine is also reasonably fast so it will be done in, in like a minute or so okay our update is ready so the next step is uh to install snapd so we are going to use uh snap uh to install uh, the kubernetes installation so the micro is, is distributed as a snap package it's just single uh snap package you just say install the snap snap the entire kubernetes is packaged as one thing and it's just runs so it's easy to install and update and uh this is the mm, um, version of the kubernetes so if you go to uh Crocatus website uh getting started you will see that uh the channel is 1.2.5 because at the time of the recording that is the latest kubernetes version um yeah so that's what we are going to do we just use that as a snap package and then uh it just downloads the micro KTS and installs it for you okay it seems like um the micro KTS is installed let's go to the next step the next step is joining the group just copy and paste the command um and then uh, give the proper permission to the cube file and the next thing is sign in as the user perfect we have done all those things now just check the micro is ready yes it's running you can see the add-ons which are enabled here so we don't have so much enabled the package manager is enabled the helm is enabled and the helm 3 is enabled everything else is disabled which is what we need we will enable things one by one you can also go and then check the number of nodes which in our case is just ours and we can also create the alias uh, so that uh, we can just type um, kubectl instead of micro as kubectl um, now if you go and then ask for the cluster info it says 1643 that's the port we opened uh in the firewall if you remember okay so now uh make sure you install the kubectl tool in your machine so if you open uh, this url here uh you will see that uh the kubectl uh, is the command line tool you don't have to log into the machine to manage the kubernetes cluster you can use the kubectl tool to uh, manage the cluster so uh here is the install and instruction for windows mac and linux click on the windows and you have a lot of uh ways where you can just download and uh use the kubectl so yeah just uh follow these instructions you can use charcoal scoop there is also winget um uh, yeah um follow however you want to um just install the kubectl and for the kubectl to work you need a kube config which is available when you type micro as kube config so this is the kube config um yeah so just copy the kube config and then paste it in your um paste it in your uh kubectl machine wherever that is and it will just work so uh once that is done let's enable all the add-ons so i i'm enabling um dns so ingress prometheus that is for the um, data collection um it monitors the cluster and then provides charts and then cert manager for the let's encrypt host path for the storage let's uh see um let, and now enter this will enable all the add-ons it will take a while let it go don't stop anything in the middle uh it will enable all the things set up everything up and then and then we can move on okay all the add-ons are enabled um and we also have storage enabled um dns enabled ingress enabled so everything is enabled right now so let's go and check the namespaces first um yeah so you could see prometheus you could see cube dns nginx okay everything is running and then there are a bunch of things which are still creating um yeah it should be ready soon yeah okay most of them are running except Loki in from the observability, but it will start soon, I guess. Yeah, but um, yeah, let's go to the next step. Uh, yeah, so this is a setup script um, I created I while testing out. So this will this is like all the steps we did. 
So if you don't feel like uh, typing it one by one, just put it as a setup.sh and then copy and paste and then run it. It just does everything for you. So the as I said, you can view the config uh, and then uh, paste it in, and then paste it in your uh, cube config file. And there's also Lens. Uh, it's a really cool tool um, where you can actually um, as a you have a UI graphical user interface to manage your cluster, which which is pretty nice. Um, now let's try to install Omizish because I kind of like. Uh, uh, autocomplete and um, my command validation, things like that. So I usually install Omizish in my shell. Um, and for that, it's it's a pretty easy setup. You just um, update a bunch of, uh, update, um, update the packages and then install the Z shell. And then in this one single command, you will be able to get it. Uh, I have already done that. And then now installing the um, syntax highlighter plugin and also uh, the auto suggestion plugin um, just helps you to um, type things easily mm, just open this each um, okay here this is uh, I need a theme called Agnoster and yeah we, we it, it's good if we update the plugin as well forgot to do that let me go back um here's the plugin we have a bunch of other plugins by default by default um and we can also add the aliases here so that we don't have to worry about it again okay now just source and then your terminal looks so much better um yeah so we have our terminal ready our kubectl command should just work fine yeah so our kubectl command works everything works and our terminal also looks nice this is uh it for the part one in part two we just uh see how to enable the add-on if you didn't enable and set up nginx and cert manager